Welcome to another episode of Rate or Roast My Rig. I am your host, Fluff. I don't know why I just did that. I am an idiot. He's, He's an, an idiot. idiot. Let's get to some roasting, shall we? Gosh, okay. Starting off, starting this episode off correctly, I see. Um, five PRS single cuts. We have a Tremonti, I think, let's see. Are all these Tremontis? I think all these are Tremontis, if I'm not mistaken. I am not a Paul Reed Smith expert. I'm pretty sure all these are Tremontis. Yeah, they look all like Tremontis to me. I know that one in the bottom left is a uh, first first run Tremonti with the, uh, the name at the 12th fret. I don't have anything to hate about this at all. I like all of these guitars. I have a 594, it's not a Tremonti, it's, but it's a PRS single cut that I love dearly. Um, this is this is a great setup. I have nothing to say about this. You know what, right off the bat, let's just do it right. Five out of five beards. Jeez, okay. Also, a great looking rig. Am I just in a better mood today? I don't know if that's, uh, I've had coffee, I've had lunch, wow. Um, Anki case, good case. You have Mesa Boogie JP2C, with a 212 cab, you have a Kemper. Uh, the stuffed dolls are kind of weird. I don't know, not really. I think those are from Pokemon. I'm not really sure though. You have a fantastic, very, very beautiful uh, Majesty from Ernie Ball Music Man. You have some kind of a live stream setup going, add a monitor. You got a little bit of graphs in the back. This is a pretty solid rig. What is going on today? Um, I'll give this rig four to five beards. All right, here we go. So first, you know, I'm gonna talk about the cables. Your cable management needs a lot of work, pal. Um, stresses me out. I think I'm gonna have a seizure looking at the cables, but then when I wanna look away to the cables, I see that weird tapestry cloth thing on the wall. Not into that. Also, that what guitar is that? Is that a homemade guitar? It looks like a homemade guitar. If it's not a homemade guitar, then, uh, well, it should be. Because it's ugly. That literally, like, the tree it came from was called the Ugly Tree, and it literally hit, when it was falling over, it hit every other ugly tree on the way down. Hence, the Ugly Guitar. It came from the Ugly Tree, over in Uglyville population, your mom. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Not really. <clears throat> uh, you look to have some, dude, those do not look like 212 speaker cabinets. Those look like PA speakers. Uh, you have a Panama Shaman, which I'm shocked that even still works, uh, knowing the QC of Panama. And the Randall head's cool. Your pedals are all right. Um, overall, I'm gonna have to give you rig Two and a half out of five beards. Okay, so here is a rig that is A, loud, B, really has a little bit of everything, has a great guitar, but the cab, that cab is so ugly. Snakeskin anything is just, mm -mm, should be burned. Should be burned. However, you do have a Bill Kelleher signature Sparrowhawk guitar, which is mwah, fantastic. You have a Marshall JCM 900, dual reverb, Mwah. You have an EVH 5153 Stealth, Mwah. Whammy pedal, Mwah. You also had the limited edition, Jerry Cantrell signature Dunlop Crybaby, one of my favorite Waz that Dunlop has ever made. Got a cool couple of pedals. Uh, you have a Waza Boss Delay. This is a great rig. I hate that cabinet. And it's a carving cabinet, so I instantly know that uh, you're probably gonna, you probably look like you sell weed out of a 98 Civic. And it should say Kiesel on it. And there's your pedal board case, but you know what? This is still a great rig. I'm gonna give you four out of five beards. <laughs> ah, okay. Clutter Central, but here's what I like about this rig. 
Uh, this is basically your new rig next to your old rig. This is the equivalent of like when the when uh, down south, like you know, you might be a redneck if your old TV is currently under your new TV. It's like your new TV is on top of all your old non-working TVs. This is kind of like your old rig, like what you started with, next to your new rig. Not newer rig, but like, you know, like better rig, I should say. So like, I could tell you probably started out with that really shot 412 on the right. PV Valve King, good amp. Uh, and then before that, uh, which is up right above that, you have the uh, Line 6 Pod. You have a Graphic EQ Marshall Power Amp. And then you upgraded to a 6505, wisely I might add. And I believe that is a PV Triple X cab, if I'm not mistaken, or a Valve King cab. It's one of those two. It's probably the Valve King amp since you do have the, uh, or Valve King speaker cab since you do have the amp. There's a lot of stuff on the wall and you have some weird statues, but you do have that pretty cool uh, Willie Adler, uh, I think that is the Bird of Prey. EC1000, cool guitar. Uh, you have a Schecter with a bunch of bats on it. But you do have a Schecter Banshee on the right side. I believe that's a Schecter Banshee, if I'm not mistaken. Which is cool. And you have the Ding. Okay. This is a very meh rig until you get to the TH30 from Orange. Great amplifier. Also, you know, obviously I'm a big fan of the 6505. Man, I'm gonna go ahead and give you three out of five beards. <laughs> well, I know you're probably single, right? It's like, or or you're about to die because your lady's about to come home and she's gonna kill you for leaving this kind of mess. You have a dog, an adorable, looks to be German Shepherd. Your rig isn't, it's, it's, it's okay. You have a Paul Reed Smith MT-15. Uh, you have an Ibanez, Les Paul, and a Tele. You got those bases covered. Uh, your house is in shambles, it looks like. And it probably smells of condensation or and or bong water and or gunpowder. Am I right? I'm probably right. But your dog is adorable and having a dog in the photo, you know what? I've always wanted a German Shepherd since I was a little kid. On a technicality, I'm gonna have to give you a five out of five beards, but I'm not happy about it. <laughs> so this rig is literally powered by bong water. Like it's some kind of like a hydrothermic thing and there's like a thing spinning and it keeps getting spun by you constantly smoking out of the bong and then the, the air comes in and it turns the wheel or something like that. I'm a bit of a scientist myself. Uh, but uh, this rig is definitely powered by bong water. I'm not sure I really like it, but I respect it and I understand it. You have that old ass 80s MIDI controller on the right hand side. Um, you have a no name guitar cab that is a I think that's two tens with a 112, if I'm not mistaken. That's probably a bass rig. I'm not really sure what I'm looking at, to be totally honest, but you have guitar pedals on the pedal board. I don't know. You're probably a huge stunner though. And you probably, yeah. I don't like this rig, but I'm still gonna give it two and a half out of five beards. Dude. Is it just me or do does everything look too deep? Like those Mesa cabs look totally fake. And so does the Framus Cobra cab. But why would you want to copy and have a fake Framus Cobra cab? I'm not really sure. You have the Helix powering, like um, I'm gonna assume four cable method into the rectifier, dual rectifier, 90s dual rectifier. Uh, your guitars look all right. I can't even tell specifically what they are uh, besides the uh, the red ESP uh, Horizon. I believe that is an NT2, some kind of a Horizon. This is a great rig. Real talk, clean and efficient. This rig is awesome. 
You also have a gun, right? <laughs> like right in the drawer. Like, are you playing and are like, do not say any, do not, do not heckle me. And like, do you just like, that's the sound. That's the sound that it makes. Like you have it sampled. You pull the gun out and you point it at people and then you put it back and you continue playing, searching the crowd. Talk some trash, do it. Why would you have a gun on your rig, man? I'm still gonna give you four and a half out of five beards though. All right, what is this, a Sparrowhawk episode? This is the Bill Kelleher episode. Uh, we have another Bill Kelleher signature Sparrowhawk. We have an orange 412 and we have a Marshall, uh, let's see, what is that, a TSL 60? Yeah, TSL 60, whammy pedal, everything is tidy, you have your storage bin. You have a Gorillaz poster. I don't know why. You do have a Homer Simpson hula-legging though, which is cool. Pretty cool rig. I like the HX stomp. This is a pretty tidy rig. Bill would approve of this rig. I should text him and send him this and ask him what he thinks. Three and a half out of five beards. And that does it for this episode of Rate or Roast My Rig. If you would like your own rig rated and or roasted, feel free to send me an email at raterroast at gmail.com. And we will get to you one day. There's a lot ahead of you though. Fluff out. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, please consider subscribing. It helps me help you, and then in turn, you get more stuff to watch. And also, I have all sorts of stuff down in the description of this video. Sweetwater giveaway stuff, there's all sorts of links to all sorts of things, so consider uh, checking that out as well, if you're gonna hang. But if you don't hang, all good. I still love you.